So one of the strengths of drop task is to have multiple projects and we've reviewed this in other videos. But today what I want to talk about is how can we use this to our advantage if we have to go in, for example, to family tasks and see what's due by setting a filter perhaps and saying, tell me what's due today and then going around and doing those tasks. That's certainly one way to find out what you have to do. But when you have or you can, of course, select overdue. Right. But when you have multiple tasks groups, as I do illustrated here, how do I find out where everything is due? Well, you do that through view all tasks. And there's a couple things that you just need to be aware of. One, you need to select who it's assigned to, who the task is assigned to. So if I say nothing, no filter, right, it's going to give me everybody's tasks, anybody and everybody who may have a task. Instead, I want to put just what's assigned to me. And when I do that, it's going to readjust and tell me what's just assigned to me as an individual. And, and the way I can look at it in three different ways, well, two different ways. One is by urgency, so what's really important, but it gives me the due date right here. All right? Or I can say, give me what's upcoming. So by saying upcoming, it says, okay, these are the things due today tomorrow, the 10th of September, so on and so forth. So it goes down the list. Now, some key things to remember here on this screen is one, I have projects set to all. I could just say, I want to just do my project for family tasks, right? I can adjust that way. So that's pretty easy. The other cool thing is when I have it marked very urgent, uh, notice here that it tells me it's been urgent for a day and I've, I keep on pushing it to another day. This tells me the due date and this tells me the subtasks, 0, 4, 1 of 2 are completed. And then this tells me its status, whether it's in progress or whatever. And then, of course, you have other indicators, low urgency, low importance, things of that nature. And you can see them all up and down here. OK, it also shows me who's assigned and all that good stuff this is kind of a cool feature because if i keep pushing something you'll say for three days for four days things of that nature now to make adjustments i just simply click on it and i say oh okay i'm going to change that now to the ninth to tomorrow so i'm going to do that immediately as soon as i do that it immediately moves it right here to um the ninth now it still shows for one day but in Tomorrow, it's going to say for two days, all right? And then it'll appear in my today box. So that's kind of the easiest way. You can, of course, search by urgency, and you can search by upcoming. Two great features uh, that allow you to look for what is due in your entire area. Oh, one last thing. Notice here, this is the, the project. Work, family tasks, work, family task, Q merit. All of these things are different project areas that I have. And so it's telling me that those tasks are from those projects.